As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Giddings. Today, we're designing for June Sung. June Sung wants to be able to use her basement from the front to the back, side to side. She's got 17 different functions for it. Many of us are going through this right now, right? We're all staying at home and we're figuring out all the different spaces in the house and how they can work for us. And a home gym is one of the great ways that we can embrace this current time. Hi Shelter Team, my name is June and I live in Chicago, Illinois. During COVID, what used to be an office now has become multifunctional spaces. The place that we need the most help with is the basement. The basement first started out with being mostly a storage area and then became a gym. Now with the kids, it's a play area as well. What we're looking for your help on is a truly budget-friendly option to accommodate for this multifunctional space. June Sung has a massive basement and we're going to design a home gym for her. What jumps out at me immediately is these long thin windows. This says that there is a foundation wall here. The other thing is there's nothing against these walls. So that gives us a lot of wall space that we can work with. I also noticed serious workout equipment. So that gives me a design cube. To get huge gains you need big equipment. But to make big equipment work, especially in a home gym, you have to bring in a few delights and that's where I'm gonna go with this. Designing a home gym really starts with the floor plan and you need to know how you work out. So this equipment that you've picked for yourself and the layout that you arrange with that equipment is very personalized. I'm taking my cues from the photographs Jun Sung sent in. They've got a lot of really good equipment. It basically covers all the bases you need covered for a really strong home gym. So I'm going to create a zone-based training area. Here we've got our floor plan and this area right here, this is where the storage used to be. But instead of storage, now we're going to use that space as the delineator of our gym. It makes a lot of sense to me to say that this 13 foot long width is the perfect width for our home gym. This gives me a very clean identity at the end of the room for where the gym can nook into that corner and feel like it was always meant to be there. So if this corner is going to be our gym, how do we lay it out? Well, we've got that massive weight rack, right? And it's going to essentially stay where it already is. What that's going to do is open up this area as one zone and this area as the other. And by moving the rack closer to the center of the room, it's also going to free up the space underneath the windows. And this is where I want to put all of the storage that this family needs under every single window, a lower cabinet. Now look what that does for us by calling out every single window with its own piece of storage underneath it, you get this negative space that surrounds where our black rubber flooring is going to be. And that is where we're going to put a little bit of engineered hardwood flooring. Not an entire basement full of engineered hardwood flooring. It's going to be the border for our black rubber gym floor. And it's gonna make the gym floor feel like it was always meant to be there. In the gym area, that gives us three hardwood flooring areas and one big rubber flooring area. What do we do at the end of the rubber flooring? All these interlocking rubber flooring systems come with a threshold that are basically small ramps that'll tie your existing floor plane with the floor plane of the rubber mat. Now, most people think that three quarters of an inch is about as much padding as you need to really make sure that your joints are supported and protected. But given that you've got wall-to-wall -wall carpeting underneath it, maybe half an inch would be okay. But that means that the threshold here has to go from zero at the carpeting level up to three quarters of an inch thick, or depending on how thick you decide the rubber mat should be. 
What this does for us is it gives us the thickness required to put a small underlayment of subfloor and a small thin engineered hardwood flooring on these edges and keep it at the exact same height as the rubber. So what are we going to do in those hardwood flooring areas? Well, that's where the mirrors come in. One of the biggest differences, I think, is that the mirrors, instead of being frameless and attached directly to the wall, are framed and attached almost like picture frames. Yes, these are gym mirrors, and yes, this is to make sure that we keep good posture, but this is also a home. So wherever there's mirrors in a home, it's usually an opportunity to bring it up a notch. One of the details that I want to bring in is this feature wall back here. You can also do it behind the mirrors, or you can have the hardwood flooring fold up and then use it on that far wall. But I would love to bring in a little bit more wood into this sort of corner gym idea. All home gyms appreciate a spa feel and that's what this wood wall treatment is going to do for you. I'm recommending wood slats that's exposed furring strips right on top of the sheetrock and then slat work right on top of that. Use a blonde wood like a white oak. I think that look great in here and coordinate it with whatever engineered hardwood you're going to use to make sure that the frame of the rubber flooring ties in with the room. The lower cabinets can be very versatile in how they work for you. Yes, they'll wrap the entire wall of the basement, but they can also poke out in 90 degree angles from the wall and create a different kind of storage. What I've drawn here is basically a desk that pokes out from the wall and maintains the aesthetic of the lower cabinets that are wrapping the entire room. Our black rubber flooring surface has some kind of framing on all sides. And for you, Jun Sung, I've designed a little gym system that can fit in between these two windows for easy access, right in the center. That way, people working in any of the zones within the home gym can just go right to that wall and pick up the equipment that they need. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.